Bubbles hit U.S. arcades in 1982. The game was both developed and published by Williams Electronics. In the arcade game, you control a bubble, and the goal is to clean the sink while avoiding things like brushes, razor blades, and giant insects. As you attempt to scrub the sink, the bubble will grow in size as you absorb enemies and gunk. Once you achieved a certain size, this would allow you to bump into certain things, like brushes and sponges, preferably into the drain for extra points. The razor blade causes instant death regardless of your size, and the extra large insect that came out of the sink could be insta-killed if you picked up the broom power-up, which was in the shape of a witch. Or a cleaning lady, I guess. I think she looks more like a witch. There were multiple ways to finish a level. You could clear everything on the screen, of course. Or, if your bubble was big enough, you could enter the drain while it flashed green to skip the level. You could tell how big your bubble was by the size of the face on it. Eyes would get bigger, and it would eventually have a mouth. Entering the drain while too small, even with the flashing green light, would result in instant death. The arcade had two different cabinets, a standard upright cabinet and a cocktail version. The game was inspired heavily by Pac-Man for its non-violent nature. However, the lack of decent sound effects is probably why it had a mixed reception. The gameplay in Bubble is quite addicting, and the game itself is pretty underrated and still fun to play today. The arcade never received a sequel, and it wasn't officially ported to any home console, until it made its way into multiple Midway arcade compilations in 1996, 2000, 2003, and 2012. Have a request for an arcade corner? Tweet me and include hashtag arcade corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner. Yeah.